Welcome back to our video tutorial series Be More with Mod 4. Today we're going to take a look at some of the property and boundary condition editing enhancements we incorporated into our latest release Visual Mod for Flex 4.0. Some of the minor upgrades include being able to assign or edit boundary conditions and properties in a cross-sectional grid view, to use calculated values to determine boundary condition attributes, and internal system checks on assigned boundary conditions to ensure that they meet Modflow engine requirements. Now let's take a look at some of the new features available when it comes to creating, assigning, and editing boundary conditions or properties. First, let's go ahead and create a simple boundary condition, and in this example, we're going to create a simple river. We'll assign it using a polyline and draw it over the river we have in the base map image of our site. When we are done creating the different segments of the polyline, we can right-click and click Finish. This will open up the Define Boundary Condition window. As you can see right here, we have completely revamped this window and the ability to assign and edit boundary conditions and properties. There are a few ways you can enter values into this window. You can either assign or edit values on a cell-by-cell -cell basis with cells identified in their IJK format, or you can simply copy and paste a set of values from an Excel sheet into the window as we're doing right here. Finally, the most exciting feature is the ability to linearly interpolate between any two data points we may have. In this case, we're going to enter the values for the topmost and the bottommost point of the river. Based on these two rows, we're going to linearly interpolate river head and river bottom values for the cells in between. We also have the ability to interpolate in segments as well. Finally, you can easily assign a constant value to all cells by selecting the Assign to Column option as we are doing for the cell width. The new Visually Interactive Editor gives you full control to define linearly interpolated values, assign values for cells way more efficiently, and finally, improve model calibration with the ability to edit values on a cell-by-cell -cell basis. Hope you found this video helpful and stay tuned for more.